And those were today's headlines. 이제부터 headline을 하나씩 자세히 살펴보게, 살펴보겠습니다. Right? South Korean 15-year-olds were among the top performers in mathematics, reading, and science among their peers from OECD member nations. According to the latest report by the organization's Program for International Student Assessment, 경제협력개발기구 OECD가 주관한 올해 국제학업성취도 평가에서 우리나라 만 15세 학생들의 읽기, 수학, 과학 소양이 OECD 회원국 중 최상위권인 것으로 나타났습니다. Let's have a compact look at the news first. Can you tell us more about it? So this was a report, this is based on 2022 information here, and they measured the ability of 15-year-olds from a total of 81 countries. So it wasn't just the OECD countries. Mm -hmm. um, and Korean students did very, very well. Uh, nearly 7,000 Korean students participated in this survey yeah. from over 180 schools across the country. Um, among the students surveyed from all countries, um, Korean students ranked between third and seventh in math, between second and twelfth in reading, and second and ninth in science. Mm. And that's from all countries around the world. Yeah. If we yeah. just if we just look at the 37 OECD member nations, Korean students did even better. Yeah. They came in between first and second in math, first and seventh in reading, and second and fifth in science. I'm not surprised. No, I'm not at all. I'm not surprised <laughs> at this whatsoever. Yeah, I'm any, not surprised. Any guess which country um, got the most points in all categories? Oh, wow. Okay, so out of all the countries? Yes. Mm. It's a city-state. I'll give you that clue. So. I, I would guess that it's somewhere near here. It is, fairly near. Fairly <laughs> right. near here. Okay, city-state. Yes. Singapore. Majayo. Yeah. You nailed it. Singapore. I, and Singapore, I think, has done well on mm -hmm. these assessment yeah. tests. But I, I've heard that um, it was a little bit worrisome or they were worried because we had COVID. Sure. And then there were they were worried about, um, you know, how students might not have been getting the adequate education during those two or so years where they weren't able to go to school. Um, so they were worried that the scores would have gone down. But surprisingly, or maybe not so surprisingly, because I think the education system here, they did a pretty good job of trying to get the students back to school and trying to maintain um, the status quo. Um, so they were able to do well, but it, it wasn't the same for a lot of countries. No, a lot of, especially the countries that, as you mentioned, during COVID had those very strict Lockdowns. A lot of students in those countries slipped in all these categories. Mm. 그래서 이 OECD 국가들 중에서는 굉장히 읽기, 수학, 과학 이런 부분에서 굉장히 그 상위권, 최상위권에 어, 있었고 또 전체 국가들 중에서도 상위권에 어, 있었다고 하는데 특히 이 이제 조사 기관에서는 이 OECD, 그 OECD 국가들뿐만 아니라 다른 국가에서도 그 코로나 기간 동안에 그 학습 공백이 학생들한테 어떤 영향을 미치는지 이런 어 영향을 조사를 하고 있었다고 합니다. 근데 다행히 한국 학생들은 어그 기간 동안에도 굉장히 열심히 공부를 하고 또 학교에서 뭐 온라인 수업이나 이런 대처를 굉장히 빠르게 해서 어그 공백을 잘 메꿀 수 있었다고 하는데요. 다른 나라에서는 또이 상황이 그렇지 못했다고 하는 합니다. 그래서 점수가 많이 떨어진 경우도 있었다고 합니다. So let's take a look at some of the expressions that were used here. They described South Korean students as uh, the top performer. That's right, top performers. In this case, we're talking about students with the best scores. Yes. Um, you'll see this a lot. Um, in sports too. So like one of the sports apps that I use a lot, if I want to see what happened in a particular game, I click on that game and then it'll give me a recap and mm -hmm. it'll always show me the top performers from both teams, right. which players played the best, right. whatever sport it is. Right, the number one ranking team or... In this case, performers, we're talking about players mm -hmm. in, or students. Right, right. Exactly. So, 그 가장, 가장 좋은 또는 최고의 성적을 낸 사람. It's a top performer. What about peer? Peers, uh, these are people who are, you know, either the same age as you. Uh, it can also be people who are of the same social status as you. Uh, it can also be people who do the same type of job as you as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. So at work, like your coworkers, if you're all kind of in the same level and in, uh, in the company, you yeah. could also refer to them as your peers. Right, right. So 뭐 나이가 꼭 같지 않아도 어떤 신분이나 뭐 회사에서 동료들도 peer이라고 설명을 할수 있는데요. You have an example. 
example sentence for us? Uh, I think I do. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's very popular with his peers. Mm. So 그 따, 또, 또래, 동년배 사이에서 굉장히 인기가 많다. 이런 얘기죠. 자, 한번 다시 읽어볼게요. South Korean 15-year-olds were among the top performers in mathematics, reading, and science among their peers from OECD member nations, according to the latest report by the organization's program for international student assessment. Okay, let's move on to the second headline.